prologue of The Garden of Forking Paths, part one of Ficciones, Jorge Luis Borges explains that some of the stories in this, the first part of Ficciones, need no extraneous elucidation but he'll comment on some of the stories nonetheless. The Garden of Forking Paths is a detective story in which the motive for the crime is not entirely known until the end. The other seven stories are fantasies. Borges claims he is not the first author of the narrative titled The Library of Babel. That is to say, he's not the first writer to propose an infinite library. He hints that most of Pierre Menard, author of Don Quixote, is realistic. The only unreal thing in the story being the destiny Menard imposes upon himself. Next, Borges describes the advantage of writing stories about imaginary books. Because the composition of vast books is a laborious and impoverishing extravagance, it's better to pretend these books already exist, and then to offer a resume, a commentary. Three of the stories in part one are of this kind. Talon, Ukbar, Orbis Tertius, an examination of the work of Herbert Quain, and the approach to Al-Mutasim. In abstract terms, Borges compares the approach to Al-Mutasim to the novel The Sacred Fount by famed 20th century writer Henry James. Borges himself sometimes comments with a mocking distance, describing himself as an inept and indolent writer who prefers to write short works rather than go on for 500 pages developing an idea. He compares his commentary stories to books by two 19th century authors, the Scottish historian and essayist Thomas Carlyle and the English novelist and essayist Samuel Butler. Thus, Borges puts his work in an international context from the start, giving himself British, English-speaking, old-world forebears. Carlyle comments on the life and opinions of an imaginary German philosopher, and while his commentary pretends to be about the philosophy of clothes, it actually argues the old forms of human belief are dead and new ones are sorely needed. Butler's The Fair Haven pretends to defend Christianity while mockingly undermining its foundational miracles. Borges, therefore, seems to be hinting here at the beginning of this collection of short stories that his own commentary stories have deep aspirations about thought and belief.